Look around you. Everything you see came from the soil. Whether it was mined and extracted or grown and processed, human civilization is built on the foundation of soil, both figuratively and literally. Yet, how much do we give back? Globally, soil fertility is plummeting, with one-third of global soils already considered to be degraded. While many suggest we start looking for a new planet to ruin, I, I mean colonize, I suggest we learn how to take better care of what we already have. The good news is that healthy soils not only provide all we need, but they also help solve many issues human society has created. Earth is filled with carbon-based life forms, and most of that carbon is CO2 pulled from the atmosphere and used to build the roots, stems, trunks, leaves, every part of every plant. Not only do plants sequester carbon in their structure, they also deliver large amounts of carbon to the microcosmos of organisms that live in the soil. Organisms that modern farming practices destroy. The largest known release of CO2 comes each year when farmers around the world till their soil, ripping huge wounds in the skin of the earth and spewing out plumes of greenhouse gases that can be seen from space. Conversely, the greatest reduction in global CO2 emissions are seen when crops in those same fields begin to sprout in spring. What if we encouraged farmers around the world to adopt soil-friendly farming practices? Could the soil absorb all the carbon that humans emit? We've done the calculations, and earthworms alone gobble up and sequester in their fertile excrement the entire amount of CO2 in the atmosphere every four years. Worldwide, soil is estimated to contain nearly 1,000 times more carbon than in the atmosphere. What's the difference between sand and soil? Black, fertile carbon. We aim to prove that harmonizing global farming practices with the natural carbon cycles can not only neutralize human carbon emissions, but it would revitalize and restore the fertility of our soils in the process. We don't need expensive new technology to solve some of our biggest issues. We simply need to shift our practices to harmonize with a planet that has already figured out how to sustainably support life harmoniously. We're sending out an SOS, and we invite you to join us as we endeavor to save our soil.